Hello everyone, it's Adam Jackson here. It's been like a month since I've done one of these videos. Like one, one month since I got shelving up downstairs. Uh, just one month. In the last month, I've had to triple shelving, add more standing shelving. It's just immensely crazy how fast this beer cellar is growing. Uh, to the point now where I don't have any more eye level shelf capacity. So the next, I've got like, you know, 12 to 20 boxes of beer arriving in the next 30 days from various places and I have no more space for them, uh, aside from some of the floor level shelving. So let's, let's take a look. Let's see how things are going. Um, of note, the lights aren't always on here. I just turned them on just now so you guys, you know, get a better look. But <laughs> it's usually the humidifiers in here and the, uh, AC unit is going. So let's 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 take a let's take a quick tour. I'm gonna turn this around. Um, there we go. So this is my cellar, and this is in you know 30 days um, since the last one. So I, I started yeah you know, I I started buying beer to cellar um, uh, mid December, late November, I kind of bought a couple things and put them in my wine rack, and there was nothing really special. It was just, you know, like a Duval and a Chimay, just things that I wanted to try at some point in the next year. It wasn't like a big cellaring thing. Um, and then I joined Beer Advocate in January and got banned, but before then, I kind of got into, you know, trying other things and, and, and you not know, cellaring, but just buying things that I can't always get uh, when I see them, and then uh, knowing what is rare and what's hard to find, and then buying those beers to drink and I don't really I drink what I want um, so I'll give you a quick tour uh, this I just got today so I'm, I'm, it's fresh I'm gonna put it in the fridge if the video is over I just wanted to shoot the Pliny or Pliny I'm not sure how you say that but um yeah so these are kind of the the beers that are um, here I don't know if you have to kind of constantly be adjusting in the zoom but um you know, just some beers on the top shelf. Um, some stuff here, just keep going. Some older stones, some brew dogs, Suve. That Infinium's actually being passed off to a friend. I don't need it. It's a 2010, it's gone back a long time ago. Uh, Oma Gang stuff. I know the zoom is terrible on this thing. Um, some Life and Lamb, I, love, I just love Life and Lamb, it's just a terrific beer. And then some Sierra Nevada 30th stuff. So that's the first row. Uh, second row, Harpoon stuff, some Netherlands beers, some 4D. Just all kinds of deliciousness here. Um, these are all 2011, 120 minutes, but I've got an 07 at the very back here that I'm, the last one is an 07, I'm saving that one for a special location, but that'll be soon. So BCBS 07, and these are all beers that don't sell her for sure, and I'm gonna drink those pretty fast. As well as the bottom row here, these these are all, you know, starting with Noble Rot, uh, these are all, all gonna be drank pretty fast. Um, and then these are the ones that are, well, not pumpkin, but some of the ones that are ageable, some decadence, some um, Crooked Stave, Mexican cake, Lost Abbey stuff from, from various years. Some Zukovs. Yeah, then we'll swing around here. Uh, we got 09, 10, and 11 chocolate. <laughs> some Lindemans, of course. Top shelf beer, Lindemans. Um, it's 2010 Amouche. Some 3Fs. Some Tilquin. Um, these actually just arrived today. I'm really stoked about these. The, all the Russian River sours, um, and they're all—they're not aged. They're all off-the-shelf stuff from San Francisco. Mickler Sour Bitch, and then uh, Founders Blushing Monk. All right, and this is taking a little longer than I thought. Okay, I'll, I'll try to speed this up. Uh, 2010 Nemesis, 09 Nemesis, uh, some off-the-shelf Rogue stuff, Chimay, uh, some Breakfast Stout. So this is some 2010 Breakfast Stout. Next to some of this year's Orval off the shelf stuff. Um, Double Dead Guy Abyss, I think it's 8, 9, and 10 Abyss, or 9, 10, 11. 2010 Night Stalker Lolita and um, Goose Island stuff. And then I've just got some local beers and some Brew Dog stuff and some Lawson's and White Birch. White Birch is the best. 
<laughs> um, and then I, I'm, you know, I know that you're supposed to drink some of the IPAs soon, but I just love BrewDog labels. You know, all these are all duplicates, so they're all kind of stacked that way. Um, yeah, just great BrewDog beers, Rochefort, uh, St. Bernardus, Rob White Stout, uh, Old School, yeah, Burton Bad, and Mort Ale, and then bottom shelf here, uh, Bitches Brew, Fort, Bernardus Christmas Ale, Valerium, just too much of Trappist and Belgian stuff, brewery stuff. 13th Hour, Allagash 4, Walker's Reserve, and some other random stuff. Um, that's actually it. Well, I, mean, I just got some some ageable things here, some things that sit around for a while. Uh, Old Guardian, Otter Creek. That's and then wine. That's all wine down there. So that's yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I know it was a long video. It, it, I'm just for myself. I like having the the video of it. You know all laid out, but that's everything, uh, aside from the stuff arriving. It's going to double in the next month, so I've got to figure out something out. I'm, I'm severely out of space, uh, and then I just have to stop buying beer. When I'm back from Belgium in May, I'm just going to stop buying beer. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, it sounds like I'm depressed. I'm really excited to have all this up and together. Uh, and thanks everyone for your support. Just been awesome working with everyone, doing trades, and identifying cool stuff you guys are all awesome um that's it so thanks thanks for watching have a good day